Hello again, universe. Josh here. Um, now this part is the, I guess, second half of uh, doing Scouty's thought experiment, and I guess I'm supposed to watch my watch my own video and comment on it. So I'm gonna um, just pause the tape every few seconds. You might not even notice it, and uh, I'm gonna pause the video and um, watch a little bit, and then I'll comment on what what I see myself doing. Um, Hopefully it'll all, it'll make sense to you as I go. I'll try and be clear. A anyways, okay. Uh, here we go. Just a reminder: don't don't watch this video if you've um, decided to participate and haven't started yet, haven't yet done your own video. Um, otherwise, go ahead and watch if if you already have or if you're not planning on um, participating. But if you are participating, don't watch this. Stop. Okay, so I start with some reading some big words here, here, and um, looks like I kind of stumble over a little bit of them a little bit, just like I'm doing now. Uh, but anyways, um, that first sentence, um, maybe it doesn't look like I'm actually comprehending it, but I believe at the time that I was, and um, I think it was just straightforward, like I was just reading and, and taking it for face value wasn't really uh, trying to interpret any meaning out of it um, and then I read the bit about uh, submarines and space and I can see that that uh, kind of had an effect on my um, on my uh, sense of meaning meaning and then I get kind of an aha moment a little later when I realize that it's about jet lag yeah early on in the video I really had no um, early on in reading the text I had no conception that this was going to be about um, sine wave graphs, and and I guess uh, it probably would have helped my comprehension quite a bit more if I had those graphs readily available for me in in diagrams and figures. Um, but I was able ultimately to construct them in my head and to kind of imagine them uh, later on in my process. Um, I just think it would have been easier and, and quicker uh, to. Uh, assimilate this information if I had the graph right off to start. Um, another strategy I notice almost immediately is that I start to compare the thing I'm reading to actual personal experiences. Um, for example, with the shift work and with the experience of my trip that I made to Ontario. And um, I'm not sure if I mentioned any other things regarding my personal experience, but I, that's a big part of interpretation and um, meaning and that's what I, how, what I get out of understanding the text or that's how I understand the text is to kind of relate it to my own experience okay here's something that interesting that I do when I start to analyze um, when I read about underwater and in space um, I start to uh, decide whether or not I think this information is true and reliable and um, I guess an essential part of meaning uh, is determining whether what I'm actually reading is to be believed or whether it's to be thought of as kind of a fiction in some ways. And if I'm ready to accept the fact that circadian rhythms exist and etc., even though I don't know very much about them, if, I'm, if I've heard of them maybe once before, it kind of solidifies that, that yeah, we're talking about something that's scientifically true or proven or something like that. Even though there's no sources cited in the paper, I kind of, uh, in the excerpt I guess um, I kind of get that sense that it's true or that it might be true uh, obviously further reading would be required to see how they actually acquired their data uh, and conclusions and etc but if for now I accept this as basically a valid uh, thing a valid um, piece of work uh, that is probably true okay the next thing I noticed was that um, the word transmeridian didn't even register in my mind until much later in the paper. Um, I just understood it as um, meaning long. Transmeridian meaning a long flight or a flight from one place far away to another place, place far away from that first place. Um, and I, my baseline was of course my own experience with a three hour difference within Canada uh, but that's the extent of my experience. I think I, okay, yeah, with blah, 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 moving on. Okay, the next interesting thing that I do in analyzing this uh, is that I, I read that sleepiness um, is a problem. 
and I've noticed that I make um, kind of a value judgment on that and I believe that you know um, it's kind of a personal uh, responsibility issue I guess um, people really need to learn uh, or, or you know it's it's not impossible to stay awake uh, when you have jet lag and I my personal belief and view of it is that um, it shouldn't affect performance that much and that there are strategies that you can make so that starts coloring my um, interpretation of the meaning of the actual text in that kind of I say oh well you know you're exaggerating the effects or you know we're only talking about a very like a fraction of a degree difference in maybe core body temperature or whatever um, so I start to kind of marginalize um, the meaning of this particular paper at that point when I think that it's rather insignificant um, that's just what I see myself doing in that case and and now that I have a chance to look at it again and kind of think about my thoughts um, maybe uh, maybe I don't agree with that anymore maybe I think that this is a serious problem um, but that's not what we're talking about now we're talking about how I created meaning in that moment so next it's interesting that in the moment I kind of question you know whether what their sources are and whether they did studies and whether I can uh, look it up and obviously Scouty said you know you can't turn to other texts and you can't check out you know Wikipedia to find out um, if they're if they have links there to other websites which might have more research on them um, so I don't know if if in the moment um, that question would have been lost if I hadn't recorded it and um, talked about it I mean um, obviously if I was doing actual research I would have to I would pursue that but if I'm just reading something like say something I read on the the internet whatever I don't feel that much of a compulsion to go check the sources except right in that moment and then usually it's fleeting and it goes away okay next verbal descriptions of graphs don't seem to do very well with conveying meaning to me um, I'd rather just have the graph and when they they said curve I didn't even think of graph at first and then um, I know if you're in, in the sciences if you're actually going to school um, it becomes pretty much natural to to associate curve with graph, uh, but if for me, who it's been um, just over a year now since I graduated and, and from undergraduate studies, uh, I yeah I still have no kind of conception, um, or I don't automatically associate curve with graph, uh, even though I know I should, but. 